Hi friends, welcome back to the another video of Nyas Academy. So friends, in our previous video, we have learned about the electromagnetic wave, the different features of the electromagnetic wave. We have seen the frequency, we have seen the wavelength, amplitude, uh, wave number, the energy of the electromagnetic wave and the intensity of the photon which are there in the electromagnetic wave. So all these topics that we have covered in our previous video. So now friends, uh, when we talk about the electromagnetic radiation, this particular electromagnetic wave can be formed at a different wavelength, can be formed at a different frequencies. Now, if I place all of those frequencies, all of those uh, like uh, different wavelengths in one spectrum, we can call it as the electromagnetic spectrum, where we can find all the lights, all the electromagnetic rays and its different frequencies, different wavelengths, different types. So friends, over here in this particular video, we are going to learn about the electromagnetic spectrum. Like the radio waves, which occurs at the lower frequency, higher wavelength. The gamma rays or as the X-rays, it is having a higher frequency and lower the wavelength. So the difference between two, we are going to cover in our today's video. So friends, please watch this video till the end and if you are new over here on my education channel genius academy you are most welcome and please check all of my videos on my channel in genius academy and please do subscribe as well so friends without wasting any time let's begin with our today's topic of the electromagnetic spectrum in 1861 and 1862 sir james clerk maxwell so he told that the visible light, the light we can see around us in the different colors, that is the different colors of the rainbow, that the light we can see all around us, it is a part of the electromagnetic wave. So over here friends, this particular light is a part of electromagnetic spectrum. So friends, over here this is nothing but the electromagnetic spectrum. It represents the different different frequencies of the electromagnetic wave from the radio wave up to the gamma wave it represents all of the waves also it shows us the visible light spectrum so starting with the first one that is the radio waves this particular radio waves is having the lower frequency but higher the wave length so over here just because it is having the higher wavelength it is used in the radios walkie talkies it is used in your cell phones it can cover a large distance. It is having the higher wavelength and it can cover the large distances. So that's why like a radio city, which you are listening 91.1 FM in Mumbai, like it uses that particular frequency 91.1. So when you tune into your frequency, you can listen to your favorite music if you are anywhere in the Mumbai. So it covers this particular radio waves covers uh, like a majority of the distance just because it is having the higher wavelength and lower frequency. So friends, this particular radio waves like having different different classes. So over here, you can see these are nothing but the different classes of the radio waves. So if we talk about the extremely low frequency, this particular extremely low frequency is having a, a wavelength of one lakh kilometers range. The frequency will be of three hertz and the energy per photon will be very much less that is nothing but the 12.4 femta electron volt now this particular femta stands for 10 raised to minus 15 so you can imagine this is the very very small tiny number over here for the energy that is carried by that is carried by each photon in this radio wave so that was about the radio wave now if we move further, there comes microwaves. These particular microwaves, which are uh, which we are very familiar with, that is used in our microwave ovens. There is a device which is known as the magnetron that produces the microwaves. The my this particular microwaves is having the higher if a uh, frequency than that of the radio waves, but it is having the lesser the wavelength than that of the radio waves. Also, there are different classes of these microwaves, such as the ultra high frequency and extremely high frequency. So friends, when we talk about the ultra high frequency microwave, it is having the wavelength of one meter, frequency of 300 megahertz, and the energy carried by the each photon into 
this type of the microwave that is around 12.4 micro electron volt so over your friends the energy carried by each photon is increased from that previously uh, radio wave so that was about the ultra high frequency when we talk about the extremely high frequency over here the frequency increased from 300 megahertz to 30 gigahertz so over here the frequency increased the wavelength will reduce further so over here the wavelength is around 1 centimeters and the energy that is carried by each photon will also increase as we know when the frequency increases the energy carried by each photon in that particular wave will also increase so over here the energy carried by each photon will be 124 micro electron volt that is equals to 124 into 10 raised to minus 6 electron volt so over here the energy is increased in the case of this extremely high frequency microwave well friends these microwaves will not only just cook uh, popcorns for you it also used by the astronomers to learn about the structure of the nearby galaxies so friends let's move further that is nothing but the infrared waves now these infrared waves will have further more frequency than that of the previously microwave and the radio waves this infrared waves it is also having the three classes over here friends you can see these are the three classes of the infrared waves that is the far infrared mid infrared and the near infrared wave so first let's talk about the near infrared wave it is having the frequency of 30 terahertz whereas the wavelength ranges from 10 micrometers and the energy carried by each photon that is 124 mega electron volt so when we talk about the next class that is nothing but the far infrared radiation the frequency over here is the 300 gigahertz that is 300 into 10 raised to 9 hertz the wavelength is of 1 mm and the energy carried by each photon in this class will be 1.24 mega electron volt so this is nothing but the two classes of the infrared wave this particular infrared wave it is used in this uh, infrared goggles this particular infrared goggles captures the infrared waves that is reflected by that a specific object just because of the heat content in the body the infrared waves gets reflected by and that is captured by the infrared goggles so that is a heat vision goggles we can call it as also friends this particular uh, like uh, infrared waves uh, it is used in your TV remote and uh, this particular infrared waves also having the importance in the astronomy the astronomers use this infrared waves to map the space debris or dust between the stars so moving ahead next is nothing but the visible light so finally a spectrum of visible light comes this particular visible light we can also call as the NOV so it is having the frequency of 300 terahertz that is equals to 300 into 10 raised to 12 hertz so this is having extremely higher frequency but over here the wavelength is very much short that is 1 micron meter so that is equals to 1 into 10 raised to minus 6 meters so over here the wavelength is keep on reducing as we are moving further uh, into the different different types of the waves also the energy of each photon which is there in the visible light the light we can see all around us over here the energy of the each photon is nothing but the 1.24 electron volt so it is uh, on a higher side than that of the microwaves radio waves and the infrared waves so that is 1.24 electron volt so moving ahead next is nothing but the ultraviolet rays so friends when we talk about the sunburn skin tans so this is happened just because of the ultraviolet radiation that occurs uh, occurred typically occurred in the sun uh, typically occurred in the extreme sunlight conditions and a higher temperature so this particular ultraviolet ray is like a quite harmful for your body like when the frequency is over here the frequency is on the higher side so the frequency over here that is nothing but the 30 petahertz that is equals to 30 into 10 raised to 15 hertz the wavelength is further reduced to 10 nanometers that is nothing but the 10 into 10 raised to minus 9 meters so over your friends the wavelength is very very shorter and the frequency keeps on increasing so it is having the higher frequency and the lower wavelength and the energy of each photon carries is on the higher side that is nothing but the 124 electron volt 
so that was about the ultraviolet rays so when we move further we can see the x-rays so now this particular x-rays is the extremely dangerous to our human body it is like having the medical applications like this x-rays can pass through your body but it cannot pass through your bone just because of the bone is the denser material so this is used for your human body anatomy we can see the remote parts of our body by using this x-rays also these x-ray scanners are there on the airport like the baggage your luggage can be scanned by using this particular x-rays so over your friends there are some different classes of this x-rays such as soft x-rays hard x-rays so this particular when we talk about the soft x-rays it is having the frequency of 30 petahertz so when we talk about the wavelength that is ranges from 1 nanometer to 100 picometers the energy per photon will be on a higher side that is equals to 1.24 kilo electron volt so 1.24 into 10 raised to 3 electron volt so it is on a higher side than that of the ultraviolet when we talk about the hard x-rays this particular hard x-rays the energy that is 124 kilo electron volt and over here the frequency is around 3 exahertz and the wavelength is of 10 picometer so friends that is all about the x-rays which is used in our medical applications so when we move further to the most dangerous part most dangerous electromagnetic waves these are nothing but the gamma waves this particular gamma waves will be having the highest frequency of all and it is extremely dangerous it is having a frequency of 300 exahertz the wavelength is 1 picometer that is equals to 1 into 10 raised to minus 12 meters that is extremely tiny number the shortest wavelength of all and the energy of the photon carries that is the energy of each photon carries is on a higher side that is 1.24 mega electron volt so this is the reason like it is having the higher energy photons so that's why it can cause damage to your body this particular gamma waves are highly dangerous but if we use that particular gamma rays in a controlled manner in a controlled manner we can destroy the cancer cells we can destroy the cancerous tumors so that's why it is having the various application in the oncology also it is used in the medical sterilization like the uh, different medical uh, different different medical equipments can be sterilized by using this gamma rays and the food irradiation so it is having that much of applications of this gamma rays so friends that was all about the electromagnetic spectrum we have seen from the radio waves up to the gamma waves we have covered each wave in a detailed manner so friends this is how we are surrounded by all of the waves from the x-rays to the gamma waves we are all surrounded by all the waves so friends if you having any doubts any queries please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my education channel genius academy also friends do not forget to uh, help me on patreon.com where you can uh, help me to continue my this education service so thank you so much friends for watching this educational video keep supporting keep loving thank you